it. All right, we're on for gold. Mad Mike, you said you have every, every have something for us. Is this the epic retelling of Rookie of the Year that you started last night? <laughs> God no no I I'd, I'd need I'd need a solid two and a half we're, hour block two gonna, and a half that, hours the yes. movie wasn't that long I'm very dramatic I feel like uh, I need to give you a call when we have this guy on the line um, for Thursday morning I, he now follows me on Twitter are you morning. serious I did tag him in that yes. pr- post Henry fucking Rowan Gardner follows me on Twitter and honestly it could not have better been a better start. He's, in my the day. rookie of the year is going to be on a Pittsburgh Current podcast Thursday morning here. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know if he's in person or not. I haven't gotten the word. I just have but, a graphic. I hope this graphic but, is um, accurate. But um, Jackson so, Argos. What? I said Jackson rookie of the year. Rookie of the year. Oh uh, no 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 Jackson the one is the time two-time rookie of the year. You know, yes. the one time the one time rookie of the year. one time rookie of the year. Okay. Um, but so I got something. Uh, from a couple of my friends this weekend. Okay. So, do you know what a cameo is? Like on a television show? <laughs> no, like like on the internet. Like on the internet, a cameo. A cameo on the internet? I yeah. would assume it's like, you know, the cameo guest star appearance on like a sitcom. You mean like what Chris is doing right now on the show? That kind of is a cameo. No, <laughs> no, it's, all right, so a cameo. Actually, oh, well, is... I'll tell you a story later, but go ahead, Mad Mike. Okay, so a cameo is, um... A, a service where you can pay people oh. to give personalized messages. Oh, good. You went that way. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Well, no, that's, that's what it is. Well, no, I know another definition, Jeez, but keep going. Well, I mean, oh. we all do, but... <laughs> what does but it mean this, in the wrestling world? <laughs> no, no, it's not a wrestling thing. It's for my fraternity days. Oh, no. So. This is, all this right. Is the, this is the personalized message, and... I've received one this weekend. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. As, um, and you know what? I'm... I'm good. So, do you have me on camera? Uh, yes, I have you on on okay. camera. Like right. they see um, you. I'm going to turn my phone toward the screen so everyone can see and okay. so everyone can, can hear. All right, are you ready? Okay. We're ready. Oh, it's a video. Okay. I can't. S- Too much glare. It's, it's a little bright. Oh, Mike and Lisa. <laughs> Mike and Lisa. Oh, you two love. Word on the street is you got engaged at Disney World. Oh, oh that's incredible. I also that heard biggie? that you have yes. moved in together and you are planning your wedding. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. So many beautiful, just beautiful life changes. Just so many, so many blessings upon blessings in your life. Your good, good friends, Matt, Ray, Steve, Tasha, they all reached out to me so that I could wish you the very best. They also asked uh for some uh some advice uh that i could provide well seeing as i am 33 and am single uh unmarried no kids uh i really don't have much advice to offer you in that department but if i could suggest anything i suggest that the two of you enjoy each other that you enjoy each day that you enjoy the journey together that you just you know make that sweet love. <laughs> it's not always physical. It doesn't always have to be physical sometimes. It's emotional love. Intimate emotional love. That's right. That's a thing, I think, that people do. <laughs> anyway, my goodness, I wish you the very best in your journey together. I hope you guys enjoy your wedding to the fullest. I hope you enjoy this engagement. I hope every day together you you just you just really just really soak up all the love that you two have for each other that you enjoy the journey just together. All that all that love, all that beautiful, beautiful love, yeah. We celebrate you, Mike and Lisa. Today we celebrate you and wish you the very best. Because you deserve it. You got so much love around you. All those friends that wanted me to reach out to you was beautiful. Was there a time requirement? No. no. <laughs> I was about to say, did he, did he have to get three minutes? Nope. So. Uh, so that was how my weekend ended. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't tell me about that last night. Huh. I forgot. Well, I also How wanted. Yeah. To, I also wanted to make sure it was okay with Lisa that I played it. Okay. The... Okay. <laughs> uh, that is but, fantastic. Uh, not, again, so, not, not the man. same as a cameo and for my fraternity. So no, so, no, yeah. probably, probably safer this way, right? Eh, well, so, you know. um, when I share it on Twitter later, 
I'm going to unofficially invite Big E to our wedding. <laughs> what do you mean unofficially? Hey. Just unofficially. Unofficially, you might as well invite him for real at this point. Listen, no, uh, recent uh, because 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 I I don't want to pay the extra for the invite. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You don't want to pay for a plate for Big E? We're going to have kind of a like a, a, a foraging table style. So he'll be a, he'll be able Forage. to Forage. Yes. So you you guys do things a lot differently in upstate New York. Cheap. Yes, here we here we call it a cookie table. Well, there's also going to be a cookie table. Oh, too, good. So there's going to be a, there's sort of, there's going to be a lot of stuff. But yeah, uh so <laughs> So that that was how my weekend ended. I, yeah, I, that, that, I wanted to share that nice little treat. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, and I also oh. have permission from the new day to have sex with my fiance. Oh, so good, that's great. Oh, good. That's, that's great. That's what you were waiting for. I mean, you know, <laughs> well, these days with the WWE, you know, and engagements and whatnot, it it, it seems like I'm not Mad Mike. Uh, there I am. Okay. <laughs> there. Well, you're not Honey Badger anymore, which is no, good. Not, she yeah. just popped up in the chat room, and she's probably confused. What's up, Badger? <laughs> Badger tribe. So, I am so sad. I had to. I had to retire. Well, I had to move the my my Badger tribe laptop. Had to get replaced. So I need new stickers. Dave, I I can ask Biggie if he can be the officiant. I don't know if that is something that will necessarily hey. fly. I I was gonna say <laughs> anything you know, can happen. You these never days. know. Uh, there was recently a wedding that was officiated by McFoley here locally. So that's oh. a fair point. And Christ I mean. <laughs> So I unfortunately was uh, unable to attend that, but uh, I understand. Uh, my, I, I yeah, thought my, my, I, I still have to edit the footage for it. And apparently there's an entire run of wrestling promos uh, as part of the footage. Of course there so, is. Of course, because there was like a, like two tables of wrestlers and they saw a camera yeah. and people that are ringside usually. So Sork, um, did anyone hide a snake in one of the wedding gifts? <laughs> No, I check every time I'm at a wrestler Obscure wedding. Obscure reference, but I appreciate it. Hentai's wedding was clean. Uh, well, okay, not even it's not clean. Clean. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say, who the fuck are you trying to kid? Um, are we still on gold? Good. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Mike, uh, can you readjust your camera? Your head's getting cut off a little bit. Okay, and, and I right, can't I'm, see. I'm going. I'm going to recall in because I can't see where my camera. Okay. Is. All right. All right. I'll he's out. He's out of sorts. So we'll get him. We'll get him. Bye. We'll get him. So. Um. So, Chris, what's up? So, how many belts do you have now? <laughs> Four. Four. So, there it is. Okay. So there's a ta there's the tag belt, belt with IWC. IWC Tag Team Champion. Okay. The okay. Uh, Imagine Heavyweight Champion. Okay. The Premier Champion. Okay. And the Route 33 Heavyweight Championship. The what? Route 33. Route 33. Yes. Do you defend that in the middle of a highway? Uh, no. But I wish a highway <laughs> would take me to Route 33. I'm not going to remember those. No, it's okay. I mean, give, give it your best shot. I'll take off an article of clothing for everyone you get oh, wrong. Oh, no. Oh, so, no. Like Lisa's wearing an overshirt. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, no, nah, actually, I, I can't strip down despite my threats because I got to rep Jack Pollock. So. Yeah. Good. Good. We got that barrier. But I can take my pants off. Jeez. So. Jeez. Making How many weeks in a row have we had someone take off an, or an article of clothing? I don't think Badger took anything off last week that I'm aware oh, of. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you'd remember not, that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't. I can't actually see the the couch. Oh, you got you got you so got the feedback. No, got, no. I, well, okay. You, you, you do you, you think go. that somebody there would 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 strip naked and somehow you would not pick it up in the conversation that it could just it, happen and no. you would just go. Turns on. out we're all, we've been naked this whole time, Mike. It actually has <laughs> happened before. <laughs> <laughs> and you weren't yes. aware. No, I'm not that. I don't have so we're lucky that they have good audio coming back to them on uh -huh. the remotes. I have not really tied in the video to them yet. Oh, fair so, enough. Um, but that is actually you used to do that. I then, did. Then, I did. And then we stopped. It was a whole different. Well, because everything stopped working with uh, Google. Like I had a whole setup for it, and then everything stopped working with Hangouts, and I haven't found a good solution. But now I'm thinking about it. I might have a thing that works now that we have the new laptop. So that's a possibility. Nobody out there cares, just if you've been a guest remotely yeah. on here. I'm going to work on that for next uh, week, maybe. maybe. Hey, Siri. Yeah. Hey, Siri. Remind me to add the video replay thing back to the studio. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, sexy British Siri. All right. Newts. 
Newts. Nope, this is the awesome cast. That's not right. Newts. You guys want to talk about video games? Sorg, I can. Um, I mean, you know, I, I've been playing a lot of Mortal Kombat, so I, I've been playing Marvel Ultimate Alliance. So I mean, is that any good? I really yes. like the yeah, first Chilla, one. Chill was just talking about it on the last show. Yeah. Is, is, okay, like I love the first one. Oh I hated God. the second one. Yeah. So um, I just started still, playing the first one. It's still fun. It's still fun. Okay, I, I, but I mean, yeah. the first one was like not only was it a fun game, but it was a pretty good story. Mm. The second one was a, a lackluster story and a lackluster game. Mm -hmm. I don't so, remember the story of the second one. Second one was like Civil War based. Oh, okay. That was when they started doing the kind of started doing toward the comics, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, yeah. See. No, I remember not liking the story as much in that one. Now, yeah. this one's all about the Infinity Stones. I okay. did I did play through uh both X X Men Legends that I know are I liked X Men yeah. Legends. I like I liked them both. I liked uh the X Men games, I liked uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, and I I loved Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Mm -hmm. Like that was one of my favorite games. And um, you know, when I saw they were something happened that they did the second one, and then the series died for like mm -hmm. a decade because I think that too many different people owned too many different. It was Activision. Was it Activision? And then all that stuff got dropped yeah. be when when they got bought by Disney. Okay, because like, you was... can't buy the digitals anymore. Okay, last yeah. I knew. But it was one of those things where, like... Who developed this one? I would assume somebody owned oh, by Disney. Uh, team, it's uh, Team Ninja. Mm. Yeah, Team Team Ninja developed this one. But I, but I remember the, the franchise lay dead for about a decade because mm. there was just too many different uh, properties owned by too many different people. Bringing yeah, I think, I think Marvel was just in such an upheaval that they put the kibosh on everything. Like, mm -hmm. all of their animated shows stopped then. Mm -hmm. Uh, because some of them were done by Sony, some of them were done by other companies. Like, no way, who's the, the kibosh? Who's publishing this? Because it's, it's I, uh, it's Switch. I think it's Nintendo. Really? I think Whoa. I know it's a I know it's a Switch exclusive. Whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, uh, let okay. me double check. But I thought it was Nintendo. But yeah, the the Nintendo. first one was excellent. Doctor Doom was the was the was the lead yeah, villain. Yeah, it's published by published by Nintendo. Sort. Mm. That's yeah, first one. Was, first one was absolutely excellent. Uh, oh yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's very fun. And it had that and, great teaser at the end where like Galactus <laughs> was gonna come in and you know. Um, um, but, um, uh, we got we got some about before we get started here. Uh, well, I want to touch base with the chat room here. Hey, what's up, chat uh, room? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Elijah Dean is there. Is here for Cowboy Chris. I do. Mm -hmm. I forgot my hat. Sorry, Elijah. Uh, Xander Gabriel wants to know your favorite Pokemon. Um. Ooh, good one. Hold on. Uh, I think you have to specify which gen. No, I only watched first gen. Oh, okay. Uh, fair, fair enough. Yeah, I'm old. Oh, Pokemon geez. hipster. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, I think Ivysaur. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Interesting pick. Okay. All right. It's all right. By the way, just so you pick... must love that he was the choice for Smash Brothers. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. By the way, I just got a Pikachu with a straw hat today, motherfuckers. I went down. I want to get. I want to give a quick shout out to the man Dime. He's got a huge match coming up uh, next month mm -hmm. uh, against Sean Spears. Uh, we'll get to see if the if uh, the young blood can hang. So there you go. Best of luck to Tim. I I, I have absolutely uh, no doubt in my mind that he can, but he's got to prove it to the world now. Mm -hmm. So let, let's mm -hmm. let's see if young blood can hang with uh, with a superstar. No cursing, please. Oh, you're in the wrong show. <laughs> <laughs> Has have you seen the Lion King? I have not. OK. Although it is showing the theater right down the, the Hollywood theater right down from oh. my house. So I could I could probably check it out at some point. Except that this weekend I will be in Erie for Revenge Pro Wrestling at the Avalon Hotel. We'll, we'll uh, get a plane. Okay. All right. Fine. Yeah, fine. We'll get that. Yeah. All right. So, uh, let's do a show. 